England are facing a series defeat in New Zealand. Gareth Bale is back in training with Wales. And Tom Cleverley's confident England can beat Montenegro tomorrow and top their World Cup qualifying group. First this morning to Auckland, where England's cricketers are heading for a Test Series defeat against New Zealand. England closed on 90 for four in the second innings of the third and final Test, still 390 runs behind New Zealand. Nick Compton, Alistair Cook, Jonathan Trott and night watchman Stephen Finn are the men out. New Zealand declared on 241 for six after Peter Fulton scored his second century of the match to set England a mammoth target of 481 to win. England have to bat all day tomorrow to save the match and the series. Our performance is not up to the standard that we've uh, produced in the past uh, on a consistent basis and so we'll have to look at that, yeah. Um, I wouldn't say they've, they've taken them lightly after the first match where they dominated the game. You know, they've got some good cricketers, uh, some experienced cricketers and some good young bowlers as well. We didn't play well. To football and England will go all out for a win in Montenegro tomorrow night, according to Tom Cleverley. Roy Hodgson's side are just two points behind their opponents and their goal difference is much better. A win would put them top of their group and Cleverley wants his teammates to draw inspiration from Friday's win over San Marino. Just how together as a team we were. We defended from a really good shape, and then, and then um, going forward, we we attacked with pace. We were dynamic, and and so yeah, we'll carry those things on into into Tuesday's game, and and work on them in the next two days of preparation. Gareth Bale has trained with Wales ahead of tomorrow's World Cup qualify against Croatia at Swansea's Liberty Stadium. Bale was substituted at half-time during Friday's 2-1 win over Scotland because of an ankle injury and a stomach upset. But Arsenal's Aaron Ramsey will definitely miss the match after being sent off at Hampden Park. Wales are seven points behind Croatia with five games to play. Scotland are bottom of Group A without a win and on just two points and they take on Serbia in Belgrade tomorrow. Tom Ince claims he's happy to stay at Blackpool despite being linked with moves to the Premier League. He's now working under his dad Paul at Bloomfield Road and the Football League's Young Player of the Year feels he's still learning his craft. For me, if it wasn't for Blackpool and bringing me in when I was at Liverpool in the first place, I wouldn't be where I am tonight and I wouldn't be the player I am now. So I put tremendous faith in my teammates, to, from the fans to the chairman to Ollie who brought me in at the club to all the managers that have been under me at Blackpool. So for me, it's been absolutely fantastic and I have to put my faith back into Blackpool and make sure that we have a, a good back end of the season. And next season, if I'm playing for Blackpool, then great. I continue to give 100% for that team and try and get us challenging where we should be and, that, and that's at the top of the table. Watch all six Sky Sports channels on your mobile and online.